The Silverstone Strader Platinum 650 watts is a mid-range power supply that has been selling on the market for a good 5 to 6 years already. It's part of the Strader Platinum series and uses a platform made by Sirtec High Power. There is one simple question though, can this aging power supply be competitive next to newer and similarly priced models? The Strader Platinum 650 is, as the name suggests, a platinum certified power supply that can surely hold its own, given that it has been on the market, in one way or another, for over 6 years. That's a lot of time for a product to be available and it's still going. In this review we have the Silverstone Strader Platinum 650 watts. I have chosen the 650 watts model over the higher wattage variants because it's usually what a normal gaming system will use, for many even 650 watts is overkill but it's a middle-of-the-road wattage that will cover most of the market. The Silverstone Strader Platinum 650 Watt is available for purchase right now for 125 US dollars or the equivalent in euros. This of course is a subject of change based on the location of purchase, the available stocks and so on. In comparison, the Seasonic Focus Plus 650 Watts Platinum is priced at 140 US dollars and that is with a discount at the moment. Moving on, the Silverstone Strader Platinum 650 has a simple look. In fact, it's basic looking and will not draw your attention, unlike models such as the Seasonic Snow Silent or the Prime series to name a few. The Strader Platinum 650 is a smaller than usual power supply, with a length of just 140mm and a width of 150mm. This type of case dimensions is often found on low to mid range power supplies, not often on platinum rated units. But it's a good thing to see as this will make the Strider compatible with a lot more cases and small form factor systems. The cables of this power supply are flat and all black. This includes the 24 pin power connector for the motherboard. And this is a rare sight as this cable is usually long and uses thick wires for power delivery so it's usually just covered by sleeving. But in the case of the Strider Platinum, this cable, albeit big and wide, is still flat and easy to route around your system. In terms of the design, there isn't much to say. The Strider has an all black casing with only a few elements placed on the sides on the top part. The Snowflake logo for the company is placed on the center of the fan grill and stamped on the back side. The modular connectors are spaced out and raised from the casing of the power supply. The PCIe connectors are blue instead of black to make them easier to identify and distinguish. However, the way of labeling these connectors could have been so much better than just a simple label placed underneath. When we talk about the accessories and packaging, there is plenty of subject matter. First, the packaging is great. The power supply is protected by two high-density soft foam pads that will dampen any impacts. The cables and accessories are placed in individual bags, and this is how a power supply should be delivered. In terms of the accessories, the Strader Platinum has included the standard AC power cable. You get two sets of screws to install the power supply inside your system. One is a set of four screws and the other one is a set of four thumb screws if you want to make your life easier and have no screws that are laying around. You also get four plastic zip ties and four velcro ties to aid with the cable management. The fan used on this power supply is a 120 mm model made by Globe Fan and it has the model number S120. 512L. This fan uses a fluid dynamic bearing system and has a maximum speed of 1600 rpm. However, it will stay turned off if the power supply and the system it powers are not pushed to higher loads. This passive system will reduce the overall noise of the power supply and increase the lifespan of the fan as well. Taking the power supply apart is very easy, as is the case with many units, however by doing so you will absolutely void your warranty and thus you have no business inside the power supply, especially one that has been powered on at some point. Therefore you will not get to see how I took this one apart. I do things so that you don't have to. Moving on with the internal build and components of the Strider Platinum 650, this power supply and in fact the whole Strider Platinum series has as their OEM the Sirtec High Power Manufacturer. This is a good sign already as Sirtec, while not being the top of the line manufacturer, is known for doing good work with power supplies, even with affordable units. The main capacitor used on the Strider Platinum 650 is made by Chemicon and has an operating temperature of 105 degrees Celsius and the following specifications. The filtering starts at the back of the AC power cable slot with a single X cap 
two Y caps and a choke, which is covered by a rubber or silicone layer. All of the before mentioned components are installed on a small PCB placed at the top of the AC socket. Installed on a secondary vertical PCB, we have the Infineon ICE2H-SO1GS, which is the switching controller used on this power supply. The 12 volts rail is regulated by four field effect transistors made by Infineon with the model number IPP015N04N. These are attached to one of the main heatsinks of the power supply as they require constant cooling. Speaking of heatsinks, the internal components of the Strader Platinum are cooled by three aluminum made heatsinks, each of them making direct contact with several components that require direct cooling, such as MOSFETs, transistors, and so on. This small chip which is installed on a vertical PCB is the PFC controller of the unit. It is made by Infineon and has the model number ICE3PCS01. The capacitors used on the Silverstone Strider Platinum 6550 watts are made by Nippon Chemicon and Tipo. One not so good thing about this platform which I have seen before is the extensive usage of cables to connect the main PCB of the power supply with the secondary PCB which holds all the modular connectors. While this is not a deal breaker, the use of cables will result in an increase in power losses across the board, no pun intended. Testing of a power supply is complex and requires a lot of professional grade equipment to get it right, however that doesn't mean I can't test the main features and performance of the power supply, and I will do it by using my own system to measure the performance. This way you will get a result that you can relate to as it's just a normal system and not a professional grade tool. With a 550 watts of power being drawn from the wall, the Silverstone Strader Platinum 650 reached an average efficiency of 92.1%. This places the Strider Platinum 650 above all good rated models I've tested so far, and right below the Antec ACP Platinum, and plenty of Platinum rated units from Sony. This was to be expected due to the usage of cables on the secondary PCB and the usage of different types of components among other factors such as the temperature profile of the fan which will power on a bit late while the power supply is being pushed. In terms of the voltage oscillations, this was measured with a multimeter connected to one of the PCIe cables that was left unused in my system, and in the case of the Silverstone Strider Platinum 650 watts, all is good, in fact this unit is positioned right behind the main Seasonic Platinum rated units. Even though this is not exactly the most scientific test in the world, it is good enough to showcase the performance of the power supply in an easy to understand matter for everyone. And finally, we talk about the actual noise of the power supply. As I've said at the beginning of this review, the fan used with this unit has a semi-passive mode, which means that it will not turn on unless there is a load on the power supply. Nevertheless, with a 500 watts load applied on the power supply, the maximum noise output of the Silverstone Strider Platinum is 48 decibels with the measuring device placed at a standard distance of 10 cm away from the system and power supply. The Silverstone Strider Platinum 650 watts is an interesting power supply. First, it's quite small for a platinum rated unit. Second, the performance of this power supply is great. The efficiency stayed steady at 92% and only dropped at very low loads or very high loads. However, that is normal behavior for all power supplies. The voltage oscillation was also good with only small deviations and nothing to worry about. In terms of the sound, the fan will start spinning only when the power supply has a good load placed on it, otherwise it is dead silent. Even when spinning, this fan is not exactly loud, it will get noticeably louder if you push the power supply over its rated wattage, but that is understandable. The internal components are of good quality across the board, and the soldering quality is good as well. If there is one drawback of this platform is the extensive usage of wires to connect the main PCB unit to the modular PCB. The cables of the Strider Platinum 650 are all flat and flexible enough to not make your life difficult when you cable manage everything in your system. Also, the color-coded modular connectors will certainly help not make a mistake. In terms of pricing, the Silverstone Strider Platinum 650 stands good among the competition, being cheaper than the offerings from Seasonic and at the same price, give or take, as other manufacturers within this segment of the market. Thankfully, this power supply is also offered with a 5-year warranty which is great to see. All is left is for you to decide which trade-off is better for you. As for just a little bit more, you can get a fully-fledged Seasonic unit which comes usually with a 10-year or 12-year warranty to say the least. Also, the OEM used for Seasonics are much better in terms of quality. If you like this review, then you might consider subscribing for more, and if you want to support me in a direct way, then in the description below you will find the links for both the Patreon and the Subscriber Star pages of this channel.